In this video, I'm going to give you the real reason why you feel demotivated and negative. And once you have the real reason, you can fix the problem. It's as simple as that. My name is Klaus Levin, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and go download our free course just uh, by clicking the link in the description here. So what is the real reason for feeling negative and demotivated? You know, those, those things go together because you cannot feel motivated and feel negative at the same time. Why is that? Well, because positivity. Looking at the world and go, wow, look at all the things we can do. And I want to go for a run and feel amazing. I want to do that. That's positivity, right? You can't be negative and oh, I want to go for a run. No, you don't want to go for a run when you're negative. You just want to eat Ben and Jerry's and, you know, <laughs> go away from the world, basically. But, but so that's its aim. Negativity is constructed, is created for you to remain passive. But you say you want to, you want to be motivated and you want to be active. But the real, the real uh, case is that you don't. You can have all these ideas around how cool it would be to do all these things, but you don't want to do them because you're afraid of what might happen if you do. It is always like this. You don't like the, posi the, the possible consequences of being positive is that you take action and then you start producing results and some of those results you might not like. Right? You might take chances, you might start a business, you might start running, you might start a diet, you might start losing weight, but then you fail, right? You can't keep it up, right? You can't, you can't stick to the diet and then you start talking to yourself like an idiot, right? Like if you were another person, you would say, oh, here you go again. You can, you don't have the self-discipline. There's something wrong with you. You know, this will never, you will never succeed. Just here, again with the, you know, I thought you could control your thoughts and learn to master your emotions. Look at the previous video, right? And you're a failure. And even though you might not say those things word by word, because you've learned that you shouldn't speak negatively to yourself and that kind of self-talk is a, you still say it, but without words, you still feel it, right? And you know that positivity always leads to action. Motivation leads to action. And once you're acting, you're risking something. But the, the cruelest, most devastating punishment and the one that most people are the most afraid of is their own judgment, is their own punishment to themselves. So that's what you need to work on. So you need to, you need to identify when I am motivated. And the last time I was motivated, what do I, what did I do? Did I go on a diet? What happened when I, when I skipped the diet? Did I go for, you know, build new habits? I read a new book. I wanted to have these micro habits and I was all excited about it. And then I, you know, wrote them down and I did all the right things and boom, I couldn't sustain it. How did that feel? Not being able to sustain it. I didn't speak negatively to myself, Klaus. I didn't call myself an idiot. No, but you felt like somebody did it, right? And that's your own silent judgment of yourself. And that's what we are afraid of, right? Go look at the previous video or watch the previous video to, to get a hold of what it is that we do to ourselves. So we basically become afraid of ourselves. And then it's much safer to remain slightly negative all the time and demotivated because then you are at least protected. It's like having a splinter in your foot, right? You walk around with it and you accept the suffering of the pain because oh, you can't get yourself to pull it out. You know, it hurts like a thousand times more for two seconds if you pull it out. But because you don't want to do that, you just walk around suffering. The same thing here. Why would anyone want to live in negativity and being demotivated and feeling sluggish? And oh, why would we do that? Be the only reason is because there's something else we're more afraid of, period. So if you feel demotivated, if you don't feel, you know, positive and upbeat and all these things and you are playful like a little kid, there's only one reason. You're afraid of being like that because then you start acting and then you start producing results. And sometimes you're not producing the results you wanted. And then things get really ugly. And if you want to deal with that yourself, then go watch the previous video here, which is exactly about that. So. Whenever you feel negative, whenever you feel demotivated, your task, your aim should be to figure out what is the pain that I'm trying to avoid by being negative and demotivated. Figure that one out and you got the solution. The next thing though is pushing through the pain, 
right, is to actually put yourself consciously and deliberately in a situation that you feel fear about, right? Because you don't know how you're going to react if you drop off that diet, if you, you know, but that you can work with. You can start building some trust in yourself by acting differently towards yourself. But whatever it is, it might be something else as well. It might be, you know, you're afraid of other things as well. But once you have identified what you're afraid of, you can sit down and you can say, okay, do I want to live in pain, in suffering? Suffering is the right word. Do I want to suffer being negative, suffer being demotivated, or suffer being sad, mel melancholic, or whatever the emotion is? Or do I want to live like that forever? Because it's the worst place you can live, basically. You're basically wasting your life out of, uh, out of you know, trying to uh, avoid uh, being really afraid, right? So, so, so you can make that choice then and say, okay, do I want this or do I want that? Do I want to fail? And can I make it, can I make it a, a different experience if I don't follow the diet? What am I going to do? How am I going to start trusting myself again? Or how am I going to eliminate, you know, the pain that I feel if things don't go my way? That's the secret. Like people who go bankrupt and they never start a new business again. They feel negative and demotivated for the rest of their lives because they know that if they start believing again and being positive, they will take action and then they will put themselves in a situation where they can get the same kind of depressive pain that they were in when they, when they uh, went, went bankrupt the first time, right? <laughs> So, but if we can skip that, if we can become better and more gentle with ourselves and more loving with ourselves, then we can stop being afraid of ourselves. The reason why I talk about that as the pain is that that is in 99% of the cases, that's what we're afraid of mostly, right? Because going bankrupt, so I'm sitting eating bread and drinking wine on the curb. I'm homeless for a while, right? Then I figure something else out. Then I do this, right? If it wasn't for our emotions, our negative emotion, explosive negative emotions that just lingers on, then life wouldn't be so dangerous. Wouldn't you agree? If we could always just be, oh, so that happened, we can't. But we can become better at dealing with ourselves and then in a productive way so things don't feel as uh, as dangerous as they do uh, for most people. So those are the words. Identify what you're afraid of. If you live in demotivation and negativity, that is your task in that state. So you can release that whole strategy and actually um, start living again. See you in the next video.